of us, every one of us, we are loved by Allah. But the problem is we do not reciprocate that love sometimes or we do not acknowledge it. If Allah loves you, you need to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing what? Minimum is just listen to him. Listen to what he has to say. And believe me, if you listen to what Allah has to say, because he made me and you, he will actually guide you in such a way that you have the best of this world and the next. The best. The problem with us, we are so lazy, we look at people who are, you know, enjoying the life. And believe me, there are people who have converted their life into singing and all dancing. Allah has kept it such that those, and this is, this is some broad statement I'm about to make. Allah has kept it such that those who have chosen a life full of entertainment alone, their lives are in a mess. I repeat what I'm saying. Those whose life is solely entertainment, their lives are in a mess. You can pick up any one of those who have dedicated their lives to perhaps singing and dancing and acting and so on. A lot of these people, they are slightly depressed, sometimes completely depressed, sometimes on pills. You might get a handful who are the exception, but those who are at the top brass, a lot of them need a lot of help. They go for the help. They have their little shrinks that they go to. You know what's a shrink? Like a psychiatrist, psychologist, those who deal with their minds and brains, yet to the whole world they look, wow, this person is so gorgeous. Look at what they look like. Look at the acting they do. Look at the songs they sing. Look at the life they have. They have the nightlife. They have this. But their lives are in a mess. I don't even want to say their names. I have said them in the past. Their lives are in a mess. So why is it kept that way? Whereas the most content of the lot are those who are spiritual, those who have a link with Allah. They lead such a beautiful life. They walk in barefoot, but they are smiling from ear to ear and they have such joy and comfort. You see them with their children playing. They don't need to make a show of it because really there is a genuine relation between them and their children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant that to us. So we choose. And this is why we are not saying that entertainment is not permissible in Islam. There are limits within which we can enjoy as well. That is life. But remember, that is not the main aim of this dunya. You want to go out perhaps to have a meal. You might want to go out to a theme park with your little children and so on. Bear in mind the etiquettes of a Muslim. And bear in mind the, the morality, the values that a Muslim is supposed to be having. And then you can continue. So you make sure you eat halal. And you make sure you try to go to a place where you are not going to compromise your deen. And then you enjoy yourself and your children. But that's not what you will be doing every day or every weekend.